Hello guys, this is NHN Gaming here. Uh, back with another video of Suzerain. Um, it's been a couple of days since I last recorded uh, the last place. I've been pretty busy. Um, but now I have some free time and I can uh, resume where I left off from last recording. And I believe that. Uh, what is it? The stop at uh, briefing the reform committees but before i go back to the briefing i want to read some of the news and report uh in the game the grand national assembly is printing green bill with a focus on promoting sustainable industry practices by Clooney. Actually, one of the act proposed stricter regulation on industrial pollution and waste disposal which suggests hefty fines for non-compliance with the collected revenues being reinvested in environmental recovery projects. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Young so member claim links to the government. It's true to his claim. This case will be continued. TS TPS and Picket line to come meet the Communist Party of Sotland and the Labour Union of Sotland has set up a picket line in the city. Two organizations and after he moving to Gascom HQ in the city are actively expressing their discontent. The situation is attractive attention with the impact on the city's daily functioning yet to be determined. The response of the local administration to this development is being keenly observed. Let's come unite their force. I believe Gascom is Gasum. Gasum is new in this update because I don't remember about this company before the update. But it's an energy company and one of the largest corporations. So it's share. Iwa Alfonso is the CEO of Gasum. Gasum. Okay, expand investment. Okay, got it. So Alfonso is CEO of Gasum. And then there seems to be like a protest about the company in this region. Which is interesting, I need to look at that later. Container security packs, CP CSP un unveils a comprehensive plan. Rika's infrastructure in a calculated effort to expand its geopolitical -pol sway. Container security packs spearheaded by Vice Secretary Chairman. To I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna try to pronounce these names. It's <laughs> Yeah, no. Has unveiled a colossal investment scheme in it. Rika's infrastructure and educational sector as, con as the continent of Rika emerged as a fresh battleground in the global tug of ideology. An increasing number of revolution embracing millennialism and Voxlandian, Voxlandian socialism they are shifting landscape. The comprehensive plan layout investment amounting to 200 billion KS over the next five years, seeking to significant boost Rika's public infrastructure. Include three major hospitals. <laughs> okay. Sustainable capitalist expansion program. So is let's see. Mm. So Rika is a continent. Um I guess we're in Macopa. Uh the Sotland is in Mokopa, that's the continent that we're in. And Rika is probably off, you know, not shown on the map. So, um, I'm interested to learn more about the Rika region in the future. Maybe it's a DLC, uh, later DLC in that region, that'd be interesting. Um, let's see. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of United States of. Our red federation, yeah, but kingdom of 
very interesting. Of like no. Yeah. Very interesting. Hmm. Let's read the news real quick. Tourism and Cultural Preservation Preservation Act sign. Uh, this act to enrich. Yep. Alfonso Foundation, a beacon of charity. Tonight we highlight the effort of Alfonso Foundation, a beacon of charity in Sortland, founded by Ewa Alfonso, the third president of Sortland. Okay, so there's more Alfonso content now in the post update, you know. So he started a foundation after his resignation. Um, so it's similar to the Clinton, Clinton Foundation in real life, Alfonso Foundation. <laughs> Uh, charitable. So I guess he's taking the Jimmy Carter approach. Like, you know, he's bad as a president, but he post presidency, maybe his popularity is better due to his chari charitable effort. Um, calling for an open mic, repealing the error. Let's see, the hollow holes of Solon, Frank Richter. Restricting foreign language to security sensitive energy corporation to 20%. This is a significant move as it brings to full the crucial issue of market openness and full investment. In cash economic growth, bring foreign direct investment. Okay. Addressing the security foreign worker gap. So the economy face critical challenges and demand security gap for security over increasing time the needs of security on the rise, however. In a bit to attract and retain foreign talent hinders, sort of potential for economic growth. An inclusive approach towards immigration policy and an ecosystem conducted with skill for workers are. Yeah, I mean. What's it? Uh, was, um, um. So, about to say. Um, I believe we do have. Um. What is it? Uh, relaxed immigration law. Uh, ongoing right now. Uh, mm, I'm, I'm no, I'm thinking it's shown right now, but maybe, yeah, keep immigration ongoing so we can track more of skilled foreign workers. Rest continue. Rest in the streets is continuing. Uh, and the tension between different groups ha has led to a new clash as hundreds of wounded and sometimes several deaths a week. Reporters interviewed a dozen of protest leaders from the regional capitals, revealing different demands from the people. Three subjects stand out freedom of expression. Okay, the team has talked to mention the need for a strengthening of the political system it needs to open up to reflect different opinions of eyes on the ground. Okay, it's still ongoing political violence between the young sword and um what is it? Red youth. Yeah. Uh, ongoing clashes. Welfare issues of Nobel. Bell see that that's once an that's once an important trade stop for the Marquean Empire has been in steep decline for the last decade. Heaven could shoot. Ship a living here uh, that did not wish to disclose the new events by showing the cities and region lacks of healthcare service. He has waited almost five months just to get an appointment in the rural region, but not a resident. Okay. I believe our campaign promises to uh, improve healthcare. So I think this should be a issue we need to take care of. Um, interesting, I need to read more about this later. Uh, Hey, I read this already. Radical, what are they gonna say? ECPA sign by rain, a step to progress. Okay, so I mean radical likes it. I mean surprisingly. <laughs> we need democracy, we have long demand and expect the expression of civil rights with the reforms to modernize our nation when the previous government blamed the Supreme Court. Okay. Uh, now the reformers have increased in number and whatever. So, yeah, I mean, we will reform the government, like we promised. Energy tension escalating in Rizia. 
In recent development, Less Power, the largest energy corporation of the ATO member Lesbia, announced an energy deal with Palace over the dispute with sea gas. Russia, which has laid claim over these fields, is likely to see an escalation in tension. Okay, so some Rizia mentioned. Um, interesting. More Rizia content. Lesbia, Palace, Quinergy, Palace. Um, I know you. I know you guys been checking the uh, developers' uh, diary because you know um, I do follow them. Up, you know about any update and about any like upcoming uh, about upcoming DLC, and then they do. Men I watched the live stream on YouTube, and then they mentioned that uh, the Rizia DLC will set in 1950. So it's like a few years earlier, four years earlier. Uh, then pr uh, the present timeline of Solon. So, but they do mention that certain choices that we made in this uh, in this uh, campaign of Solon, we have some carryover. So I'm wondering if the Rizia DLC, uh, like the timeline of the Kingdom of Rizia, will be slightly longer. That it reach. To a parallel like timeline with Solon because we start because with the Kingdom of Rizia DLC we will we we start the campaign in 1950 so four years earlier than Solon so during the uh, Alfonso uh, administration so like certain I mean certain choices um but so yeah so they say certain choices we may in the Solon campaign can carry over so I'm, inter I'm interested to see what kind of like decision we make uh, in this playthrough can affect the DLC I don't know I mean even though it's set like a few years earlier maybe it's like gonna be longer so I don't know uh, which is somewhat interesting um, damn closure yep so um, let's see Repeal proposal of age protection act of 1932, the Grand National Assembly of Solon uh, yesterday for a significant session of proposal of friends Victor of the people. Mason Lee was proposed to repeal the Energy Protection Act of 1932. This act is currently stand restrict foreign ownership of security sensitive energy corporation to 20%. Open market approach. This is something new, I don't remember this. For the update, that's a landmark enacted solely in and under the so National Autarky Plan. That's a foreign ownership. I should agree when it's approving more than 10%. Okay. That's been considered a good show. Self-sufficient okay. Energy Protection Act, Turkey Plan, some Solonomics. Okay, so I kind of get the gist of it now. Okay, so the EPA was uh, was a policy enacted by Tarkin So uh, during his presidency in 1932, and basically the aim of the Energy Protection Act is to it's a protection protectionist policy that aims to keep energy independence uh, to Sortland so there's like no foreign investment keeping it strictly 10% um, so that like that, which means that Sortland owns most of the energy production and not uh, foreign entities uh, but I believe this act so during so this act is currently stands strict and so during Alfonso presidency he upped the percentage uh, to 20% so foreign ownership so I guess Alfonso was trying to deregulate and um, how do I say this deregulate and open the energy sector to the free market 
and lessen the protectionism uh, of the act. Um, so it's, so he lifted it up to 20%, which means that there's some form of investment, but it's 80% is still controlled and managed by Sortland. 20%, there's some minor investment from foreign countries, but overall, like the energy uh, sector uh, strictly still remain uh, with Sortland. Um, so I guess this is what it means when they say enjoying clear balance energy price. Because I've been wondering about this. So I so this so we have energy independence right now because of the act or an energy influence. No, I see. Joining to minimum level of foreign influence with its energy sector going to certain chance to maintain control at domestic. Hmm. Corruption. Energy protection at 20%. And so. Okay. Uh. Yeah. So I'm assuming. I'm just speculating. After reviewing. Everything. I'm assuming that. You know, if we, if this, if the EP is, is brought up again later on, um, I'm assuming that if we increase the percentage of foreign ownership, this may turn red because we may lose our energy independence. And if we restrict, I mean, could be a good thing I'm not sure I mean foreign energy influence because this is a neutral thing right now it doesn't necessarily mean it's bad um, but I want I'm wondering if it's gonna if we do rate or we keep it the same maybe raise it up does it affects energy prices I don't know let's see later I'm just speculating right now um, I came a little early a seat Reform slowly becoming the most significant frequent change. So, Constitution of 29 was when now they play in the Constitution for outstanding from of the country. On the other hand, the reformers of the assembly had been getting louder. Meanwhile, Lucian Peter and Nia had been leading committees to prepare initial draft. Not that it was Lucian, but sir. Lucian arrived salient on the hour mark again. His punctuality. Yeah, Lucian is very unsure. As always. Yeah, like MVP. MVP. Uh, I don't I don't know you guys ever watch um House of Card. Uh it was I I, I used to love House of Card until the last season until the whole Kevin Spacey uh controversial during the during the Me Too movement. I like like I think the first four seasons were pretty good and before Kevin Spacey got cancelled, like, anyway, um, there's a character in House of Cards, his name, I think, is Doug Walk, uh, Walker, and Lucian is literally, like, very similar to that character in the show, because, like, uh, in House of Cards, the, U the USA version, the USA version in House of Cards, uh, Doug is, like, a workaholic, focus, uh, squarely on the job, very, like, dependable loyal to uh, I think Underwood yeah so Lucian is si very simple like he's a chief he's, he was you know Doug in that show was a chief of staff Lucian is the same you know and uh, you know it's been speculated uh, by people on you know on reddit you know on like forums in general like Lucian may be asexual but like not necessarily because for all we know, he could have like sexual relationship, but he's just a very private person. The same for Doug in the TV show. Like in the TV show, Doug, people like at work assume he just work and doesn't have like social life. But like in his personal life, like he, you know, he was with prostitute. He has sex, you know. So you know, Lucian could be like having something on, you know, in you know, in the background that we don't know of, 
there's a necessary there's a necessary means that he's asexual. But that's a cop that's a popular theory in some of like the forums I read about Lucian. Overall, he's a pretty sick, uh, sick, uh, very like secretive, private type of guy, and you don't really know much about him. Like you know about his career, like you know much about like his, like um, like his uh, like uh, past work experience, but like his personal life, like either he, yeah, we don't really know anything about him. Very uh, mysterious figure. Good afternoon, Lucian. Which is a good thing because, well, may not be a good thing, but he's he's a um, he's a good uh, chief strategist. So, Miss Morgana, Miss Morgana, and Mr. Vice McBride, we have some result in the reform committee. Now, how does it look? It's quite complicated. But I'm sure we make it work. We go over the details regarding the new constitution. Short chat. Everybody sat down, took out dead notes. Talk about the president our committees. Before we really start working on the constitution draft, they demand they demand a little too much. We had success with friends Richter took a realistic draft completely going to the Supreme Court. A little they demand to rewrite the whole constitution. Mr. The Richter Deputy has been to remove the term sword from the Constitution completely. I actually don't like their theatrics, but the requests were definitely not outrageous. They were just not realistic in today's political circumstances. Nonetheless, Mr. Vice President, thank you for your convincing arguments. We seem to have reached a common plan already. Okay. You can reach two third majority in the assembly. You can get French Richter to work with you on this. Our only problem would be uniting our own party. We'll never be able to get NFP to work with us. We need the majority of our 130 seats in the assembly to be in favor. Okay. And it wants 66. <laughs> It'll be tough to unite. There's people our divisive wings have been formed. Ah, let's see. Uh, I just need to make a note. Assembly. Okay, we can do it again. Okay. Alvin Cabin is supposed to be supporting you. Uh, whatever said, we would be tough to break if there's a soul still strong in the party. Yeah, I mean, we are still at the USP. We have to be careful about balancing reforming the constitution but not doing too much that we lose support in our own party. However, as mentioned, we do have a reformist wing within the party so we can potentially grow it larger than the keep it uh, influential enough that it gets to wing the whole party. So, do you think they can be persuaded? I'm sure it's possible, but regardless of my opinion, I need to persuade most of them to support us for passing an, an amendment to the constitution, and there's only one person who is key to make them back us. Gloria, Gloria Tori, Tori is well respected by the solace, she'd be our biggest obstacle in the assembly and her demand would be extensive. I also have reason to think that she might be in also pockets of the break. Mm. Yeah, Gloria is let's see if I remember. Uh, yeah, 1937. Yeah, so Gloria is not it's definitely not a reformist. She's a conservative. Probably a soulist too, so she's a speaker also. Hmm. 
they are the biggest obstacle even when we pass the assembly, the chief just will do his best to block our amendment. We need at least 6 of the 11 churches to vote for a proposal but Mr. Hucker has enormous influence over the churches to reach out to the church in secret so they might be willing to break break to support us mm -hmm. yeah three reformist church that's with Nia and if we can sway the three centuries then we have six votes and maybe we can make a deal with one of the old guards But if I remember right, if we form the anti-corruption police, then the old guy would just get nervous and you don't need to make a deal with him. Also, you, that can prevent you from getting impeached if I remember right. So it's best not to make a deal with one of the old guards. Hmm. Hmm. All means are to be considered in order to, to succeed. He was taken aback, going to the constitution. I am a member of the Supreme Court, which means we already have one vote. Now, I am. I've always wondered this. I'm not sure, but I've always wondered. Uh, maybe you guys can tell. Maybe you guys can tell me in the comment. Uh, Nia is in the Supreme Court, but she's also in our cabinet. Isn't that like a conflict of interest? How does that work? Like, Nia is playing. Attorney, yeah, minister. He was the minister of justice and law. Okay, Machine serve. Uh, she worked as an attorney. But elements here from her fight against corruption in the ministry among protests. Yeah, so I'm wondering, like, how does that work? Because, like, how can she be a justice minister? But also have a wait, yeah, yeah. How she like? Uh, she's a minister of justice and a court member. Like that's I was wondering about. Or does, or is the minister of justice has to be from the Supreme Court? Like is that position mutually exclusive, or they go together? Like if you are a, in order to be a minister of justice, you have to be a member of the Supreme Court. And then you can get nominated as the Minister of Justice. You guys know what I mean? Or, or, or is the position separate? Like, I was wondering about that. Like, I was, yeah. Because in the, in the Supreme Court of the US, that's just one position. And, I mean, they can have committees, I think. I'm not sure, but, uh, yeah, I'm not sure about that. Just interesting to me. Two of the churches are friend of mine and have similar opinion about the reform. Consider consider them with me. Okay, so we have three votes out of eleven. Three votes, yes, but I believe that Judge Edmonds can be persuaded, Chair, and the two other church, Mr. Dow Dalton and Mr. Martin. Mm okay. He wouldn't plan by solace ideology. Yes, those three don't seem to be working directly with Chief Justice Hawker. We can get to Isabel Edmonds, we can get six votes needed. It's our best bet. Uh, what are their demands? We should run down each of the demand main demands of the committees and get your input first. Mrs. Morgana can explain them further. We start with the first red line. The new constitution will fix the loophole regarding the present absolute veto power. Even though Mr. Richter put a whole show about why veto should be completely removed. The committee has almost unanimously agreed on fixing the loop of the thirst, limiting presidential vetoes. Okay. So, Franz Richter is asking for like very radical changes, and Nia is saying, let's compromise and make it a realistic proposal that can be passed. And I'm kind of with her on this. Um. And you know, Franz Richter is not like, uh, how do I say this? He's a politician. Even though he's one of the better one, he's still a politician and he's looking out for his own party, the P uh, the PFJP. And we have to remember this is politics, you know. And people that are not your allies are not with your admin, are, are, are who are not with your administration. 
you know, they work for themselves. Even though they're, you know, Franz Richter is one of the better politicians, although that he, he wants changes, but he wants the credit for himself and for his party. Because, you know, he can say, oh, the nice, you know, he can say, oh, this, oh, ideal, ideal, idealistic things or whatever. Like, in part, you know, overall, he's just trying to grow his own party, PFJP, because the more that he can weaken the USP party, the more the PFJP will be growing in popularity. You know, because he want to build his own brand. He want to build his own party brand and brand and power. So, hmm. the vetoes, vetoes. I mean, <sighs> I don't think vetoes should be removed completely. Um, it's a check and balance because the assembly could be. You know, I think there should be a way that you, like Nia said, kind of like a compromise. Hmm. Lufo gives judiciary. Because every man would be very good to come to the former first we came to the system to post a change. It's point. We need the Supreme Court to we pass this change or they will support this. Apart from the two great points, they have other major demands. I want to reform the appointment procedure of the ministers. Mr. Richter clarified that assembly should have a say in the formation. The majority of our clients to support. Talk about member of honors, right of target, so it gives him absolute immunity and make him a prime member of the assembly. Well, that's one controversial one. I doubt the USP would like that. The immunity of the justice and the impeachment of the president, limiting the power of the prison degree. Oh, this came up during the committee meeting. Yes, reformers expect big reforms, while well, fashion and the are not very keen on pushing changes that are too great. I say keeping things in the middle ground is the safest bet. We need to. Yeah. <laughs> Let's keep those changes small and manageable. Thank you for the meeting, everyone. For your time, thank you for the support. Good day. Alrighty. Ah, uh, let's see. Hmm. I want to don't read this report. And so mentioned on Duru Island, a private boat meeting near Captain So mentioned on Duru Island attempt to pump the coast guard to fire warning shots despite the initial affirmance and allowed the boat to approach for a brief station. The prince has risked about the skill for near the skill mansion. <laughs> private boat meeting near Tarkin So mentioned on Duru Island. Hmm. Interesting. Do rule island. So this is Tarkin so retirement location. I keep forgetting, I never see this island before in the map, but now I see it now. Duru Island. And then there's Edge Port, Nolian. Hmm. You know, I'm always uh like I have to say, like, Sortland is geographically, it's in a very advantageous position on the map. Because, you know, you have this narrow strait that can dictate trade, kind of have a, this narrow 
access area. So Roomba only has one port that can go out the tree without a nation. If they wanted to pass through here, they have to. Yeah, this may this a lot of narrow points. Yeah, this whole little bay area, like kind of sea area, is very strat strategically important. Like. Yeah, I have to like. Uh, I love geopolitics. <laughs> Read the report. Yeah, so it's brought us about using coal, but you know it's the nineteen nineteen fifties. We it's not a lot of like energy di diverse diversement yet. The mayor of Korea. Industrial and personal order to invest money in the region near the city. Okay, what's um, what about it? What was I about to do? Oh, yeah, the news. US Magna recently unveiled ambitious investment plan, plan by advising Scotland rural economics, economies, and showing by ambition, judicial, judicious resource allocation. To invigorate agriculture community strength security. Okay. Which would rumble an uh, economic imperative amidst ongoing pressure of our concerns. There's a trend there. You can ignore the potential you know, neighbor Roomba you know, for its large energy economy. This we see. Okay. Draw free sparks fears for gas and financial stability. And selling rumors are spreading about some one of the soil largest corporation that's company puts a hold on hiring. This unprecedented move coupled with a usual job opening has far concern about the company's fiscal stability. Okay. CSP in your take a plan, ambitious investment scheme designed to revolutionize weaker infrastructure and education sector. As it makes you spawn from around the world, recent place skepticism, and some root and chill over no way. Okay. Alright. Where we started. Long day. When we pour some whiskey, relax. Ease my mind a little. So I heard a knock on the door. It was Lucian. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Lucian. So I couldn't explain the situation to you in detail earlier, sir. So, Chief Judge is insisted on seeing you this evening. I do not know. You will be coming shortly when we judge Mr. Garcia to the meeting. We shouldn't take them lightly. But they are here to threaten us with the reform. We knew they would react at some point. We should. There were three knocks at the door. Lucian checked his watch. He looked very worried. Leave you open the door, Chief Justice also hugged and just John Garcia Garasi enter the room. Good evening. Evening. Uh welcome. Good to see you. Also just at the sofa in the office. May I? Mm, please. Yes, class was celebrating something, Mr. President. Uh, forgive me, would you so like, would you also like a drink? No, thank you. You need a thank you. I just stay as conscious and as focused as I can. How will you f- First couple of months, Mr. President, I hope you're faring well. Um... Thank you. Very busy, but I'm doing good. You know, they have some of the few new passengers on the border. It's a troubling time. We appreciate you concern. So, you probably know why we're here. Um, he's a us. 
We know we're working on a new constitution. The Supreme Court does not approve this. Uh, not surprising. With all due respect, the constitution needs to be ad updated. Sir, I am sure you are well aware of the public demand in our circumstances. Is that so? I see why you are the one who is not aware of our actual circumstances. You want to make a weaker constitution in the midst problems from both inside and outside. Even if your proposal pass the assembly, it will, it will, I will make sure it will not pass the Supreme Court. That much is clear. Hmm. You haven't seen the proposal yet, Mr. Hawker. Is it too soon to be against it? You think I live in a rock, Mr. President? I know what goes on. Yet you, Mr. President, seems to only be seems to be only partially informed about the current situation. Please let us explain the reason of our stance. Oh, please explain. We are protecting the Constitution because it works, Mr. President. It is efficient and gives you the authority to lead the nation with a swift decisions. Scotland has more important problems and threats that we should face right now instead of nit nitpicking about some paragraphs of the Constitution. We have a potential war within our borders. Also signal Harold with his hand to let him speak. Mr. President, I know that you are a busy man, so I will make this quick. We all know that Swedish security forces found stashes of Bulgarian weaponry in the hideouts of a blundish separatist KA-74 are roaming inside Scotland at this moment. So KA-74 is just AK-47 backwards, you know, because Rumberg is Russia or uh, saw, saw, uh, uh, or the Russian Empire in this timeline. So <laughs> which I think it's just interesting they call it KA-74. <laughs> they just, they just swap the letter. Like, AK, they switch it to AK, AK-47, KA-74. <laughs> oh man. Uh, direct threat. It's clear that they are also intervening in our country and weaponizing our minorities against us. It's not unprecedented to think that the Bloods start their terror again with their new toys. Not to mention the fights that broke out between the left and right wing after the shooting of Bernard Circus. Communists are rising within, with the support of United Container. The chaos is imminent for Solon. Um, you know, this is interesting because we know for a fact that, you know, what's it? So I know that United Container funded. The red dude, right? We know that. It's been stated multiple times throughout the games. And but I don't remember it being mentioned that Arcasia funded the young sword. Because I believe the young swords either they are independent themselves or they are being funded by the old guard or uh, the soulless within the country. So, so, it's never really stated that, because we have a United Cantana Embassy here, around this area, this is, like, this is a communist stronghold area, because it's an, it's an industrial area, so a lot of like communists are in this area, kind of like the Rust Belt region, I mean this is USP, but there's some communists here, um, I believe the USP, I mean the uh, United Container Embassy is in this area. Acacia, I don't know where it is, but I don't remember Acacia being supportive of the Young Sword. So, Young Sword, so I'm just gonna say not funded by Acacia, maybe. Yeah. So oh. then we know that it's, British separatists 
funded by Bloomberg to stabilize Virginia region. So this is the current geopolitical problem right now. The country is facing. I have I need to make sh big old OCD right now. My puncture, yeah. All right. Um, the court has no. Mm. Mr. Hawker, the court has no jurisdiction over these matters. Are we all part of the state, Mr. President? We are all responsible if Scotland fails to overcome these threats. Regardless of that, are you also aware that the armed bl blundish, bloodish separatists have direct connection with the Workers' Party of Blundy? Ludia? It's left wing. Okay. Um. Well, they claim otherwise. They claim they have no ties with the separatists, but most of their members used to be part of them before they formed the Workers' Party of Bludia. How about the name, Mr. President? It's not the it is not the Workers' Party of Solon, is it? As far as I am aware, there's no nation called Bludia around here. What is this about? Well, you know the swords. I mean, the uh, the Bludish people is they are like a. Uh, how do I say this? A vocal minority within the Kingdom of Scotland, like the uh, anglo Swordish. Uh, I need to read more about like the history of this region, but from my understanding, you know, the British people is similar to the Kurdish people. They are a unique culture with uh, their own identity um, and unique culture and language in, in general. Um, but they don't have a clear, they don't have a nation as, uh, that represents them. But they are a, there's a big bloodish population in Wayland in this area. And Birchia is mostly uh, bloodish, a uh, bloodish. Um, so, yeah, so, you know, a very. Um, large minority in Scotland but you know they are discriminated against and don't have a voice within the government so it caused them to be it's cost it caused them to have they have to enclave themselves in order to protect themselves and it shouldn't be the case because we should include them with include them in like you know uh, the future of the nation because right now the governor of the region is, um, is, is enacting some very oppressive policy right now in the area. It doesn't really help with uh, building a good relationship between Scotland, well, between you know the citizen of you know Scotland and the people of this region. You know, like the governor is basically having like it's overreaching, it's overreaching his power right now uh, in Bergia. The only reason they are not in the same is because they, the electoral threshold they have gone quite big. They're getting outside help and their connection to the paramilitary bloodish force cannot be denied. All of a sudden, the reformers are trying to decrease the electoral threshold so that the bloodish separatists can be legitimized in the assembly to achieve their aims of independence. Um, you think that's Mr. Richter's intention? I suspect his intentions are grander. Which the only issues were the Bluish terrorists and Bloomberg. <laughs> the reformers suggested change for the school so bring the communists who are backed by United Container into the assembly. Do you see the pattern yet? 
Yeah, so in their view, any change to the constitution would bring foreign influence into the government. So, because they believe you now there's uh, external rumor is funding ter is fu is funding terrorists. United Container is funding uh, the communists and the reformers is trying to lower the elect election threshold in order to have you know if PFJP uh, lower the election threshold there's going to be more communists coming in the assembly in their view since they are soulless that would destabilize the country which is very uh, realistic uh, from their point of view you know from their point of view they are trying to protect this nation they are trying they are seeing in also Hawker and Aaron Garrisi point of view there are too many external enemies that tr are trying to destabilize Solon. However, that kind of view leads Solon to be very isolated in the future. Uh, you know, economically and dip dip diplomatically in a globalized world. Uh, you know, we have to be more flexible. Um, so you're saying the reformers are working for foreign powers? That's a huge accusation. <laughs> Oh, you've been briefed by your security team. Maybe you should suspect them as well. We should take we should take necessary measures against communist and bluish plots, as well as increasing our military budget against a, against a possible conflict with Bloomberg. And of course, we are forward to retract our performance by listening to their demands. They are clearly plotting to weaken the president and our whole administration in order to exploit the, the situation. Which brings us to some very important information that we have. It's definitely something we need to hear, and it can change absolutely everything. With all due respect, Mr. President, I think it's getting slightly ridiculous. Hmm. Please explain. Huh? We have influence from the ES tie with Alcacia. Alcacia is aggressively growing their influence around the world. And now we have Mr. Richter coming up with these ridiculous demand for a new constitution amidst a chaotic period in Scotland. Oh, the pieces seems to fit perfectly. That's why the Supreme Court will be doing what it takes to stop these reforms and preserve the constitution. How will you know that? Mr. Gal Galade, we all know that he had been in Acacia many times because it's been documented. But what would you think if he had been Hiding, making hidden flights to the country. He was hiding his flights. He was. He has been spotted in a hotel in Acacia last year that they held a conference on economic development in volatile regions. Right around that time, he started to influence the masses into believing that our constitution is the reason for everything bad. His trip was not documented. No, was he an official guest of the conference? We believe that he had a meeting with President Walker behind closed door. Hmm. I also had a couple of more photos of him that were taken in Acacia in different cities. One is from a couple months back. Again, none of it is documented. He also attended another event in Lesbia last week. The Acacia Minister of Foreign Affairs was there too. And how can any of these be undocumented? We don't know. Even if he used a private plane, we would be able to get the information of his flights. That means he has people helping them from inside. Many solace who are in knowing were already following his lead for quite some time, Mr. President. I cannot give away their identities, but I can give you the evidence. Small files. Contained official documents from the Swedish border guards while with highlighted dates that show no trace of Franz Richter's name. There were clear photos of him that were taken in the conference in Acacia, as well as remarks by lesbian and Acacian citizens who claim to have seen him with Acacian businessmen around the same day. There was also an official transcript of one of his speeches where he claimed to be in Benfi on the dates of the conference in Acacia where he was spotted. Hmm. These seem to be real. Of course they are, Mr. Galate. 
he seems to suggest that Keisha is behind reformers, that it meant will only benefit Keisha. They want us to have a weaker administration while we face all these threats. It's a clear plot against Sortland. I bet Rumberg is a part of their plan too. This cannot be a coincidence that they are weaponizing all minorities against us around the same time. Now you understand the reason for our current, of our current stance and also our suspicious our suspic suspicion about your advisors who clearly have not given you this vital information. Lucian gave him a sharp look. We appreciate the information, Mr. Hawker. My advice against jumping to conclusion right away we still need to check the information. There's not so much to think of a check, there's clearly an emergency. In such cases, the constitution gives the president the right to use his emergency power. If we work together, you can be you can be sure that the Supreme Court will not block your declaration of emergency. You want me to declare an, an emergency? Of course, we cannot wait for the process of the assembly to take care of these issues. You must exercise your presidential powers for a fast and effective solution. Which means you might need to suspend parts of the constitution to give more authority to our security forces to deal with these issues. We must officially investigate Mr. Richter as well. It device a strong security decree, you can base it on the Article 67 of the gives the president the right to suspend parts of the constitution to deal with national security threats. Ah, so. so I think this is going a bit too far. We should escalate things so fast. Mr. President, why don't we talk in private, only the two of us? We can devise a plan together. I know how we can use the constitution to our advantage. It would be more effective if Mr. Galay and Mr. Garrison leave, leave the room before we discuss it. So I advise against it. So this at this point if we want to talk more with also Harker and we want to how do I say this? Uh go for an uh, autocrat run, then we can do this. But I'm not inclining on talking with him. More because I'm not I'm gonna decline his offer either way. And also what he's implying it's also very illegal, <laughs> uh, you know, a uh, Supreme Court Chief Justice is, is uh, trying to convince the president of a nation to declare an emergency, kind of swaying him. I'm, uh, I'm know how le I'm know about. I don't know about the legality this uh, <laughs> of this situation. So I'm saying I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to talk anymore with him. <laughs> so. Um, mm. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna cooperate with you. Gentlemen, I think it's time that we should end this meeting. Have a good evening. Yep. <gasps> How dare they talk to me like that? Oh God. Yeah, let's see. I don't, I don't know how many old gods we have. I know from previous playthrough that I have. I know, let's see, who's the old god? Gloria? Potential old god. All of the old gods in the Supreme Court. Uh, who else? Let's see. Uh, Lilius is an old guard. The majority of the military are old guard also. What is it? Uh, cabinet. No. Uh, let's show. Yeah, the majority of the military is uh, also probably old guard. Yeah, so. Not a good thing. Finish this chapter. <laughs> Trials of Democracy. A 
Okay, guys, I think I'm gonna end the recording here. That was a long session. Um, so overall, um, a lot of talk, a lot of like meetings. We met with the Supreme Court justice that tried to prevent us to rewrite the Constitution, but we're not gonna follow follow through their demands. Um, next episode, probably gonna have a barbecue with Frank, which I'm not looking forward to because I hate him. So, <laughs> not looking forward to next. Uh, not look. Not looking forward to uh, barbecue with him, and maybe uh, check, you know, ongoing news around the area. Hey guys, see you guys next uh, episode.